Well, good morning from Two Happy Children Farm. I'm back in the pumpkin field. Earlier we did a video about growing pumpkins in 60 days. And I guess uh, this is about three weeks after transplant. So you guys can see how the pumpkins have grown. Talking about a couple of my uh, threats to growing good pumpkins in the fall. Um, that swirly brownish looking stuff in the leaf is uh, leaf miners. They seem to like to come out when it's really hot. So they've affected the older leaves. Um, started noticing it, took action, and now the newer leaves are clean. So that's one of the nemesis of uh, the pumpkin. You can see that leaf is almost completely shot. Other big issue here is this little plant. It's like a wild gourd melon thing. And that one little plant can take up 25 square feet of space if you don't get it. So it's incredibly hard to control in a vine crop. Um, my way I've been doing it is trying to cultivate as much as I can and then hope to get canopy by the vine crop. So here I'll do some cultivating. Um, the other thing you'll notice is we have some Johnson grass and that's just a continuous battle. So that row I gotta come in and get it knocked down again. Um, I think Johnson grass is glyphosate resistant because I'm not seeing any activity on it other than burning off the top. Um, so maybe there's a magic formula out there to, to take it out, I don't know. But uh, it's not good down here. So you can see the pumpkins growing. Um, let's see how tall, we're about up to my thigh here. This particular variety I think is a personal size pumpkin. Um, you know, they say everything's bigger in Texas, but the larger pumpkins just seem to be harder to grow. Um, I think the heat just takes a tax on them every day. So, and they're also harder to market. Um, Illinois usually, or the panhandle, will saturate the market with really cheap pumpkins. And uh, there's really not a... a pumpkin appreciation down here so we're not going to get a better price than an Illinois pumpkin for sure that's an update walking the rows um, thinking about a week the rows will be covered over here we have uh, one of the winter squashes he's already coming into the row So yep, I think we'll have pumpkins here in about five weeks. At least the small ones will be harvesting a few and getting ready for the fall markets. So thanks for watching.